Hi everyone, Rayo from Instantly here and today I wanted to create like a super quick straight to the point video talking about all the limits that you have to keep in mind when you're creating uh, email accounts, buying domains, uh, warming them up, starting to send. So just all of these limits that you should be keeping in mind get the best result. So first of all, how you can get to this limits FAQ page that I'm on right now is by going to the Instant Accelerator, then from the start section, scrolling down to the seventh step here and opening up the limits FAQ. Um, so you can follow along and if you forget some kind of step here, you can just go back and check it out. So starting off with the setup. So first, when you're buying domains, we recommend you to create three email accounts per domain maximum. So if you want to create more email accounts, you want to send out more emails, just get more domains. Do not create more email accounts per domain. We've just seen that it's technically um, not worth it. So once you have those email accounts created, those domains are created, moving on to the warm up section. Um, first, first of all, you want to make sure that you're warming up your email accounts for at least two weeks before you send out any cold emails. So pretty much just connect the accounts to instantly enable warm up and uh, then just don't touch them for two weeks. You can already work on your campaigns, your copies, your leads, all that, but just don't send out cold emails. And then what we've seen is the best is to send 20 warm up emails daily and using the instant default settings will get you exactly that. So it will ramp up to that 20 limit slowly, get to the 20 limit and stay there. And one more thing with warm up is uh, keep it on forever. Don't turn it off. If you're done with the warm up for two weeks, uh, just keep it enabled. If you're sending cold emails, the warm up will be working in the background as usual. So yeah. Moving on from there to the actual sending part, now that your accounts are warmed up, you can start sending and we recommend you not to send more than 30 cold emails per day per email account. So tying this together with the warm up limit, uh, 30 cold emails, 20 warm up emails means that you will be sending around 50 emails per day per email account. And again, like I said, uh, if you want to send more emails, just create more domains, more email accounts rather than pushing these limits on like an email account basis. So let's say do not increase the daily sending limit per email account and also do not create more email accounts per domain. Rather just get more domains, more email accounts and do it that way. We've just seen that that's much more safer and people get way better results this way. So yeah, that's super recommended. Um, moving on from like the sending part also to cover quickly uh, some result benchmarks that you can look at is uh, one positive response per 200 emails sent. So this is like any kind of positive response, like uh, people being interested in your product, looking to book a meeting, all that kind of stuff. And then one close per 2.5K email sent. So this is like an actual client. And here you also have uh, some suggestions that you can do if you're not hitting these benchmarks. So mostly changing copy targeting, changing niche offer, just working on um, everything that's going out and uh, yeah so that's pretty much it so these are the things you can keep in mind and one thing to also mention is uh, let's say you already created four email accounts per domain or you sent a bit more cold emails per day so this is not a cause for panic because uh, yeah these are like suggestions things that we see work the best um, it doesn't matter that you do it a bit differently. It doesn't mean that everything will go super bad right away, but just um, like a general guideline to keep in mind. And yeah, that's pretty much it from my side. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully this was useful and see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.